Good morning, everybody. Or actually, good afternoon. Um, Randy St. Clair here. This is another flight of the uh, ice stole, otherwise known as the tunnel wing. Um, we've got gusty winds out of the north by up to about eight miles an hour. The purpose of this test is not to show how slow it can fly into the wind. Rather, I'm trying to get some decent video footage of the, um, the wing tufts here. So the plan is to fly into the wind, fly a pattern, come through the trees, and then come by me as close as reasonably possible. Not necessarily at the absolute slowest it can fly, but um, as low as uh, is reasonably safe, hopefully. Um, first in takeoff mode with the flaps up, that's what you're seeing right now, and then in landing mode with the flaps down. So we're going to take off in takeoff mode, of course. We're armed, ready to fly, everything looks clear, and here we go. Okay, climbing out. Might as well turn it around. No point in going way upwind. The camera has a limited range of view. That's the fundamental problem we have here. But I also needed to get a day when the sun was in the right place relative to where the aircraft is. So, getting knocked around pretty good. Okay, I needed to do that lower. Let's do that again. It's a little scary with all this uh, all this wind and turbulence. Guess I could do this on a better day. Okay. Okay, I'm hoping you can see those wing tufts okay. Let's climb out. As you can see, all the wing tufts look to me, anyway, to be perfectly straight. No evidence of stall. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into P2 right now. That means I lowered the flaps. This will be a little bit harder because now it wants to fly that much slower. And in this wind, that's going to get all that much more bounced around, no doubt. I'm actually holding a little down elevator just to get it back to me here. Which is an unusual thing to do in uh, landing mode. Come on, let's get it down. Boy, it's getting kicked around pretty good. Okay, I hope you could see that. It was actually a little difficult for me to see whether the, uh, the uh, flaps were fully, um, whether the airflow was fully uh, even over the flaps. I'm going to turn it in a little tighter this time. Try and live and learn, do this a little better each time. Okay, holding a little down elevator to bring it in low and... <laughs> I'd say this is a slightly dangerous thing to do under these conditions. All right, let's give that at least one more try. See if we can get one that's really good. Oh, 
Oh man, look at that wind. All right, let's let's get out of here. And this one we we're gonna make a full landing, so I'll try to keep that close too. Um, and so that'll give us one last chance to get a good view of the wing cuffs. Never know, I might get lucky and the wind might calm down a little. I'm going to land it in front of me, not behind me. Okay, I hope that was visible. Fortunately, the camera doesn't see things as well as I do. Makes everything look go not quite twice as far away, but something like that. Let's see, going into P1. It seems like these tufts are all all curled up. No, well, they probably would have straightened out in the wind. All right, so let's um, let's see. Are we disarmed yet? Nope. Let's disarm. Okay, now we're dis still not dis uh, disarmed. Let's try that one more time. Now we're disarmed. Okay, I'm going to turn the, ca the camera off here. Um, 